The following video contains scenes of violence, adult themes, suggested dialogue, and coarse language, such as shit, piss, fuck, cunt, cocksucker, motherfucker, and tits. Viewer discretion is advised. Hey guys, how's it going? Welcome back to Enigmatica 2. Uh, guys, today we are gonna, uh, we're gonna keep going with the mechanism branch of this, uh, of this book. Um, last episode we built, uh, we built this little guy, uh, the Electrolic, uh, ect Electrolytic Separator. So this is the thing that, uh, you toss a bunch of fluid in and it, uh, turns it into gas. Um, or turns it into two different gases, I should say. Um, so I think, uh, like basic chemistry, uh, like hydrogen, oxygen is what you get from water, that kind of deal. Um, now you might notice that, uh, this room is a little bit bigger than it was. I've pushed this wall back with the thoughts of, we're going to need some space to keep going with, uh, our machinery. Um, but we may have to rejig this a little bit, but, um, looking at the book, uh, well, just went there. Uh, we're going to need to make some basic gas tanks. Um, these are pretty easy. Osmium and redstone, super simple. Um, but what we're going to have to do is, um, use pipes to get it somewhere. So my hope is these are ender IO, uh, pressurized fluid conduits. Um, I mean, technically gases are fluids, right? I mean, it's not a liquid, but it is a fluid. So my hope is that um, you can use these because if you can, they're smart. They're not dumb, like they're not dumb conduits. Um, so I could probably just like line the wall with like six or 10 uh, of these, what are they called? Basic gas tanks. And actually, um, it, it just, it'll just pull out and it'll go where it needs to go. Um, and that, that's kind of my hope. So we need, I got Osmium, I have Redstone, terrific. Um, we need tank, gas tank, basic gas tank. How many do we need? Do we just need the one? That sounds silly. I'm going to make two. One, two. We're going to need at least two for our purposes. The quest only needs one. Bam. Store in the gas. Um, These are a little harder to make. These are simple as anything. So I think that's what we're going to do. Um, Now, another state of matter. Ah, pressurized tube. I bet this, with all that gas about, you need a way to safely transport it. So, this is my hope, is that we don't have to use the mechanism stuff, because the mechanism stuff is just horrible. I, I don't know. As far as it goes with their 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 con or their tubes, um, I really don't like their tubes. None of them have been enjoyable to work with. So, uh, I need steel. How many, how many do I need? 16. I'm gonna. Oh, I need to basically do that twice. Okay, cool. Um, tube. Pressurized tube. One. Two. And that should be enough. Bam. Da ding, da ding, da ding. Alrighty. Got that. The higher you fly oh that's the mechanism jetpack i think that's what that is uh time for a dive what's this we want to take a long swim with the oh you can there's scuba gear oh that's cool that's pretty sweet oh my god oh my god oh that's pretty cool Oh, that's really cool. Heavy radi radiation sh What's up with the radiation shield? And I'm kind of worried what I'm getting myself into at the bottom of the ocean at that point. Jetpack attachment plate. What the fuck? Are you serious? Oh, I could put a scuba tank and a jetpack. <laughs> oh 
Oh my god. Okay. <clears throat> Alright, this is happening. Um, okay, so we need a green one, two reds, some steel. I think we might actually have all this. Green one, two reds. Scuba. Oh my god. Oh, totally can. Oh, that's so cool. Okay, there's one. Uh, and gas mask. I mean, glass, steel, and a green one. I think I have everything we need. Mask. Oh, what kind of glasses? Are, are we just out of glass in this uh, in this chest? Ah, shit. Ah, that sucks. <laughs> you know the best thing? This. Boom. Look how quickly glass shows up. It is one of my favorite things about this machine is that it's it's basically just a a furnace, but it it is a stupid fast furnace. And I don't see a point in not having a stack of glass in that chest. So we're good to go. And ding ding ding. Nice, time for a dive. I am, however, kind of curious how you fill this up, but I think we're gonna get there. Uh, this diving gear will need oxygen from an electrical, electrolytical separator. So that's the thing we have in the other room. That's, uh, that's this thing over here. So, my thought was I was just gonna, I, I, I basically, I built this tank so thinking, okay, this'll be easier. For me to put like i don't know i'll fill it up and just go pipe it in but i'm starting to wonder maybe that might not work but we'll see um okay what's next in the quest book leftovers ever had leftover gas liquid oh <gasps> oh my god yes i have okay pains and osmium. What's the chances we have pains in this chest? <sighs> oh, what's the chances we have pains somewhere in one of these chests? I really don't want to blow a bunch of glass out just for some pains. It's a pain. <laughs> yes, we have pains. I was like, there's no way, right? Uh, wait, what was this thing called? A dropper. Gauge dropper. Ding, da ding, da ding. Um, uh, take some more of these. We're, we're getting low. Um, oh baby, a triple. You have gotten your ore doubling, but... That is not enough. The purification chamber is the beginning of your ore tripling. The purification chamber will need oxygen from the electrolytical separator. Okay, so this is where knowing, like basically making sure this puppy can get the what it needs is important. Oh fuck, okay, I need an enrichment chamber. I have an, I have an enrichment chamber, right? Oh, poop. I had an enrichment chamber. I need a steel casing. This is not going to be fun. Steel, osmium, glass. Ugh. Okay. All right. We can do this. We can do this. We got one. Oh, God. Okay. We need four of the red ones. Uh, we also need to dump a whole bunch of shit. <laughs> Where the fuck did this night vision potion come from? Oh, God. For the purification chamber, right? Correct. Okay. Purification chamber is done. Okay, so, or not purification chamber, enrichment chamber. Now for the purification chamber, I need four red ones, two orange, and two osmium. Okay. Two osmium? Osmium. Or two. 
I'm pretty sure is what I needed. And it was. Ding ding. Oh baby. Uh yeah, okay. Ooh. Ooh. Increases efficiency and capacity of the mystery and speed. You know what? I don't remember which one's a pain in the ass, but I'm gonna go with the energy. Got enough of the, the orange ones going on. Munch munch. Crusher. Oh, okay. So your total ore processing setup should now be purification chamber, crusher, enrichment chamber, smelter. Holy shit balls. Wow. Just wow, guys. I'm going to have to look at that. I think we're going to end up looking. Oh, whoa. Oh, 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 this is a jetpack. Tin steel. Oh my god. Wait, what? Why would you attach? Wait, I don't get it. Why would you attach an electric jetpack and a jetpack together? <laughs> I really don't get that. Is it because. Is it like a hybrid? <laughs> Is, it, is this a hybrid jetpack? <laughs> oh. Oh my god. Mode rank. I want to know what the point of that is. How? Oh my god. I was about to say, how difficult is this? This looks in. Holy crap. Okay, that's probably not happening anytime soon. How? Steel plate, advanced. Iridium shards. I think we actually have enough of those. Carbon plate. Oh my god. Compressor. Okay, we don't have a bunch of this stuff to make that, but we can make the jetpack. Um, okay, so we need two steel, some tin, and a gas tank. Uh, I still have a gas tank on me. Two steel. Green one, two steel, some tin. Uh oh. Rot row. Ah, crap. Okay. Bam! New jetpack. The higher you fly, the harder you fall. Oh, wait, hold on. I didn't redeem it. Oopsie. Take those. The harder you fall, free runners. Free runners will absorb all of your fall damage. You could get all the fall damage you could get from flying a tad too high with your jetpack. They do require power to absorb the damage though. You power them by standing on a powered charge pad. Okay, so actually I didn't know that, but I did buy, or I did make this. Um, I made this because of this jetpack. Um, it was getting really frustrating to like go all the way outside, take it off, pop it in, charge it, put it back on. Like it was just becoming tedious. So I actually just made that not knowing that I needed it. Um, this looks simple. Okay. I need two of these. So redstone, gold, and two of those. I'm just going to take that <laughs> at the, at the rate we're going. Uh, gold, and I got redstone? I got redstone. We're good. Uh, what the hell are those things called? Free runners. Free runners they are. Free. Runner. Okay. Need two of these. One. Two. And then, oh, I'm missing one of the green things. Is that always how it is? Here we go. Free runners. Ding, 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 ding. All right. Guys, look at that. We're almost done this, this page. This chapter. I'm kind of scared to go to part two. Oh, we are done it. Oh, guys. Holy crap. 
we're done the per part one. Oh, uh, is it here? It's here. Part, oh, I don't even know what these are. I know what that one is. I have no idea what that one is. Oh, oh my God. That's so expensive. Wow. Oh, wow. That's a really, really expensive thing. Oof. The only good thing is this one and this one should already be done. But oh my god, that is such an expensive entry point. Wow. Okay. Tell you what, guys. I am going to tinker with what we just got. Uh, with like all that ore purification stuff see what I can get set up and uh, I'll be back okay guys so um, I've worked on this a little bit and it definitely didn't how do I put this it started out as something completely different than what I wanted but it actually works really well and I kind of want to just run through it. So the idea is this. Uh, this machine requires oxygen to purify the ores that you get. Uh, so this little guy is uh, taking water apart and creating oxygen and hydrogen. And there's actually a little tick box down here that, uh, that basically says dumping excess. So it'll dump the excess hydrogen. I actually have a tank in there just so I have at least some hydrogen down the road if I need it. Um, but for the time being, it's just gonna dump the excess. Uh, I have this pipe, which unfortunately has to be a mechanism pipe. I've tried different types of pipes and it seems that gas pipes um, or gases are only transported by mechanism, at least from what I can tell. Uh, and definitely not under IO. Um, so that goes into here, which fills up this bar. I turned this into, I basically went through and did the advanced versions of all of the different things. So this used to be the purifying, the purifier. This was the crusher. This was the enricher. Uh, and this was the smelt, or actually the smelter I think we had previously uh, upgraded. However, I went through and upgraded all of these, and then I also went and actually made the different upgrades for all of the um, uh, all the machines. So they don't make a bunch of noise, they run really efficiently, and they're super fast. Um, and then what I did was, I part of the reason I did this is that, um, if you guys remember, when we, when we were reading the book, it said that, uh, if you use this in this combination, so in this line that we got going on here, this actually gives us um, triple ore production. So instead of just doubling our ore production, it's actually tripling our ore production, or sorry, our resource production. Um, so if we drop uh, one ore, one iron ore in here, we're getting three ingots. So yeah, um, the cool part about this also is instead of it just going through the enriching and then the smelting um we're actually getting um kind of a bit of a built-in buffer and i want to explain this to you guys so in this chest i don't actually have any filters for this like there's no filter uh item filter on this but if you look in this chest this chest will it, it has all sorts of stuff in it including other things like coal which this is the part that i was really happy about it has things like coal in it that aren't being processed so i don't actually have to worry about this now what i've also done is i've connected this chest up to our ginormous wall oh shit over there um, which actually tells me a lot because that means the coal is actually full. Yep, it's full. Okay, so that needs an upgrade. I'll get to that. <laughs> so the idea is this. If I, um, I attach my pick to this partially because um, there, there's a reason that I still have an ender chest. Um, 
the turtles dump into this ender chest, which goes into here. And as you can see, hey, perfect timing, actually. Dewey is down there right now working on things. And so, whoa, wow, that happened. That happened extremely quickly. So it just went bup, 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 and worked its way through all of that. And now it's in the system. Um, so what I was going to say, though, is it'll drop things like um, diamonds and redstone and stuff like that in this chest. And it's not going to go into here. It's actually just going to get pulled because it won't go into this machine. So it will actually just go right into the wall. So now you can see the diamonds and the redstone are going away, right? There must be something, maybe there's something buggy with this. Oh, no, you know what I bet it is? It's that... Interesting. Huh, will lead not go in here? Yeah, it will. Did I break something when I was messing around with this? I hope not. Now I'm kind of curious. Priority zero. Did I screw this up? Did I put the priorities backwards? No, it should go in there. Self, wait, I actually don't know what self-feed even means. Um, I had this working. Yeah, there it goes. I, it's just, I don't know. The idea is this, is look, everything's going to end up in there. Right? And it's going to go boom, 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 boom. It's going to work its way through. I think I have to upgrade this pressure tube because... Oh, you know what? I think I might actually have to put a tank in here if that's the case. Hmm, interesting. Maybe I'll do that. Maybe I'll add a tank. I wonder if I add a tank here, if it'll fill up the tank. Hmm. What I was getting at, though, guys, is that I can put these things in here and those and these, and they're just going to get pulled out, and they're going to go into the wall and not into the machines and... Um, this also works f uh, for other things that we were having problems with originally, like gravel and um, obsidian and cobble, like all those things that were gumming up the system and getting stuck in that chest and then not being able to go in the wall. They don't even go into this machine, so we're not going to run into that problem anymore, which that's huge because that was causing all kinds of grief. Um, this machine's actually running so quickly that it actually is running out of oxygen and Oh, you know what now we're out of power Wow Whew. Well that sucks 20,000 I per tick Whew. it's gonna be night Yep, it's nighttime. Let's see if I... Uh, okay, let's let's see if... We... Are we... A net? Oh my god, no way. Are we net? There's no way. No, there, there's no way. What? Okay, what I'm getting at is I think I'm going to put a, t a tank of oxygen in here um, and then see what happens. But the idea is it's going to go boom, 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 boom through here. You're going to get all it's going to it's going to cook all of the the ingots here. It's it's going through going there. Boom. And it's getting pulled out and they're going in the wall. That's the idea, guys. So it's all automated now, and it's all purdy. And uh, I also upgraded the infusing factor, infusing factory. Um, so this is that thing that uh, you basically put 
and uh, let's put eight of these you put eight of those in right and then you put a stack of iron ingots in and you get all these little red things right this is insane now and the problem is is we actually need it to be we we need this amount of mass production given what all this half of this stuff uh requires um to build so i mean that that took no time at all we now have a stack of those i can put them away boom and we're good um but the great thing is i know i now can do this on the fly instead of having to like pre think about um everything ahead of time to make sure that i had enough uh resources and stuff like that so that's a good thing pretty happy about that um i'm gonna have to look into this i don't know what to do about that um, we didn't have a problem with power until recently. Did I screw something up? Like, I'm trying to... I'm wondering if I, like, broke a cable or something. You know what? It's probably literally that we don't have enough power going. That's probably what I would have to guess. Um, but, uh, yeah, guys. I mean, that's where we're standing right now. And the turtle is actually still doing his job. Uh, wait, hold on. I want to grab my chest. Uh, turtle's still going. Uh, I think it's Dewey is still working down over here. Because the problem is, is I don't have chunk loaders. So I actually have to uh, hang around. I have to AFK around him. Oh my lord, what a mess. Oof. He's under there somewhere, guys. I think. Yep, he's under there somewhere. Um, that's going to be an interesting time. I'm going to have to get the pump and, and pump this out. Um, that's... Whoop that's not what I meant to do. I need some bread after that. Um, but yeah, guys, so I'll, I'll have to, I'll, I guess I'll just have to pump that out. It's a lot of lava. Whew, that's a lot of lava. Um, yeah, I'll, 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 I'll get the tank and I'll pump, I'll pump this out. I don't think it'll be too big a deal. Ooh, diamond? Diamond. So, like I was saying, pop. Oh, the other cool thing is basalt and stuff like that doesn't jam the system either. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Look, there's Dewey. Rising out of the rising out of the lava. He's like, what lava? I'm totally fine. What lava? He's coming back with his uh his spoils of mining. A whole bunch of garbage, but at the exact same time, guys. Good stuff like platinum, redstone, iron. Um, that was a kind of a shitty run, if we're being honest. But still, the point is, is that he's a totally automated thing. I don't have to worry about him. He goes down. He does his deal. I literally just AFK. I, I what I've been doing is just blocking up right here, AFK, and letting him do, uh, letting him do his thing. Oh look, man, he's just going right back. Oh, he he left a hole in the lava. Get out. That's actually really cool that he does that. Um, but uh, yeah, guys, so that's basically what I'm going to do. Um, I'm just going to actually AFK for a little while here and uh, let him do his deal. And uh, yeah, we'll uh, we'll come back. So that is our new ore processing facility thing. Let's go with thing. This is our new ore processing thing. Um, and it is quite the, the power hungry beast, but in the end, I think this is going to, uh, this is going to solve, uh, well, not solve, but it's going to definitely help with our resource, um, collection because right now, uh, it doesn't seem like it, but we're actually going, we're starting to go down. We're starting to actually have less and less resources. And the more, uh, stuff, the more, the more we move through, our uh the different mods 
um we're gonna we're, we're gonna slowly run out like we actually don't have a lot of diamond like that's another big thing right like unfortunately we can't double diamond i don't think um unless we silk touch it we might be hmm i wonder if we silk touch that if it's um i wonder i wonder i don't know i i didn't that one i didn't actually look to see if it was um it was possible to uh to do anything with but um i know all the other ones uh like all the other materials were we're good to do that uh do this too and it's also included in that is the um nether nether ores so if we go for another run we'll get uh cobalt and uh what's the other ones there's a couple of ones Ma mangdolin i don't remember what it's called now but um quartz uh like well all of that so yeah um and we're doing better on uh we're be we're doing better on obsidian as well which is cool um because it's not getting fucked up because what was happening is it was ending up in the system and turning into pulverized obsidian which sounds like it's not a big deal but it's an absolute pain in the cock to put it back together into uh into obsidian i actually don't even remember how it, it, I, I think it was a machine we don't even have the ability to do it so there was one of doing you could smelt it and make it back into blocks or you could go combiner with cobble and like it, it hits a pain in the ass guys i'll tell you right now it's nothing that we wanted to look into um because it was getting pulverized which really sucks because this means this is almost an entire stack of cobble that's it, it's got oh this is more than an entire stack of cobble or of obsidian that's garbage well not garbage but you, you get the point um it doesn't do what we need it to do uh for the most part so with that guys hope you've had fun and uh enjoyed the video um if you have toss a like on it and uh Give me, tell you what, go down in the comments, tell me what, if, okay, tell me first off, if you know how to fix, uh, if I've done this right, or if I've done it wrong, I want you to tell me. Um, secondly, I think we have to, I think we have to look at a lot more power generation. So that could mean, do we go balls to the wall on biofuel? Cause that's pretty solid. 60 per tick is not shabby. Um, we could do that, and then we could literally just, like, a, one crusher could easily keep up with feeding probably half a dozen of those uh, bio generators. Um, but yeah, if you guys have an, uh, an idea about how to fix our power situation, I want to hear it. Toss it in the comments below. Um, if you aren't already, don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell to, uh, to make sure you get uh, notified whenever a new video goes live. And with that, guys, have yourselves a great day, and I'll catch you in the next episode. Cheers.